right, I want to give you a little update. Uh, pretty much, I'm um, checking a couple of very important things. If you can see here, I actually made my unique points right here. And I don't know if you can see that. It's all electro electronic, actually. But you, I didn't have a read switch, so I ended up just going with a uh, basic uh, point system using magnets. And right now, I'm actually checking the back EMF. So what I'm doing right now is testing, energizing the rotor. Uh, what happens is, is that when it energizes, it turns on the MOSFET. That MOSFET then is run into a, you might say, a half-wave uh, rectifier. And not a full bridge. Full bridge is just stupid. It takes both sides. You only want to get the kickback. So what it does is takes that, energizes the coil when the uh, power jumps off it then wants to kick back instead of kicking back it's always going to be in the opposite uh, 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 side so if it's negative that's that's turning it on it's going to kick back positive that positive then goes into my capacitor bank which then stores the be it back EMF itself now I'll show you I'll just turn this over a couple of times and this is a uh, set to 50 volts I want to just turn it a couple of times you can see how my voltage is actually clicking and I'm not even turning it fast and we're about almost at 150 volts right there and I'm only turning it that slow now this is a 120 volt uh, DC motor so when I click this I have a little power and it kicks right in it's not a lot, I ain't got a lot of amps going on but this will allow me to keep this from exploding at over 250 volts because your back EMF is going to be probably in a in a 5 to 800 volts kicking back once this starts up but as you can see every time I'm cranking it over the uh, motor wants to spin so let me get this up and running and see what what it actually can do all right I want to do a little demonstration on uh, this particular motor I'll explain some of the details. I had to bring out some uh, big batteries. Um, these are actually uh, 48 volts because these coils are 48 volt coils. So I need to really uh, juice them up a little bit. Even though they're the uh, same amount of uh, ohms, we should be in pretty good shape on that. Uh, I'll explain to you what's going on. I have a separate battery running a 250 volt MOSFET about 38 amps on this um, it doesn't get hot because we're not pulling the low and what that does that controls the timing which is my little timing mechanism right down there uh, it's just basically a bunch of magnets and it uh, contacts my little homemade points as you can see um, and pretty much what it's going to do is cause the pulsation to occur that cause it to rotate because we're keeping the rotor energized uh, even at 48 volts which is hardly nothing it, it's not going to get warm at all uh, we're actually creating a generator at the same time skipping uh, about 180 degrees so we're only pushing it 180 and allowing the other 180 to actually do the charging so we do have charging uh, coils over here from the two outer um, 48 volt coils the back EMF is from the spike so when that cuts off it wants to kick back we collect that into a capacitor this is a 120 volt DC motor so we take that we're getting DC in the cap I can measure the uh, the uh, cap itself with a little meter and let me uh, try to start this up and see what we got right now I'm just going to energize the uh, the rotor Okay, the energize and let's kick this over and you can see we have about 25 back EMF now when I disconnect this it's going to go way up there it'll go as hot it'll go really really high and now I'll kick it on so that we're just constantly draining the back EMF we don't want to uh, allow it to overcharge it, blow up the cap at uh, 250 volts. So that keeps, keeps us from uh, over exciting the uh, 
the back EMF. So even though we're pulling a load, we've got about 23 volts we're pulling continuously. So pretty much, and we do have power coming out of these. These are AC outlets. And I'm just still working on a couple other things. Overall, you know, it is running. Not as fast as I like it to, but we do have that uh, rotor in here that's causing a lot of the issue because of the high resistance. But uh, it is running, that's a good thing. I use a little simple point, if you can see that. And all that does is connect, it. it's very low voltage, basically in the milliamps. So it's just basically a switch, it turns on the MOSFET off and on. And when that MOSFET is turned on, it then forces all that 48 volts into two coils, which is over here. So pretty much it's, a, I want to need another contact to actually get the other coils energized. But overall, you can see the uh, reaction is uh, pretty interesting. And we're still running about 18 volts, and the motor is still running. So you got some really good uh, capabilities here. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Talk to you later.